Do not tell them that you live in your vehicle. I'm just sharing so that you don't feel alone in your difficulties. Just the game of life. It has ups and it has downs. Because it did feel like an explosion, like a bomb went off in my van. It's a foggy morning. I had to go out and wipe the windows down. It certainly gets ducked up here by the sea. But look at, with all that fog, I'm still getting 14 watts of sunshine. And I'm not that low, so it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Cozy little nest. I love those. I love foggy little mornings. It would get old if I lived here, but right now, after being in a dry, hot desert for a long time, a foggy, misty morning on the beach with my coffee, it's just like perfection. Dreamy. I met this lady who was offering me some turkey that she got from the food bank. She didn't want to go back because she doesn't have refrigeration. But it turns out she's been living in her car and it's broke down and she just has band-aids up on her windshield like and she just sleeps sitting up so I, I couldn't do any of that but anyway I asked what I could do to help out and all she did wanted me to do was just make her a cup of joe so I can certainly do that for her after helping that lady who has to sleep sitting up in her broken down car I got a little bit of a perspective and some gratitude on the kinds of needs that are being met for me. I mean, I've got this healthy bowl of salad with homemade raw organic cashew mayo for a dressing. Basically, I have healthy food. I'm sitting on the beach in the sun when there's a heat wave all across the Western United States right now. I have a refrigerator powered by solar. And you know, I could get a job. I just wanna follow my fun right now. That's a luxury and trusting that. It takes bravery, but it's worth it. That's my need. I need fun and play right now after working so hard the past few years trying to build and launch an Airbnb in Hawaii and in the Red Desert. Both failed for different reasons. So it's okay for me to have a need for rest and play right now. But this lady was feeling like that everything she needed to have was given to her when she needed it. We all have a different perspective on what we need. <sighs> hey Soul Tribe, this is probably the most upsetting day I've had in my whole van life experience. Okay, let me pause it right there before we get to the bad news. This is future Solstice speaking, and I was worried that you might judge me and think I'm some kind of Karen when I sat down to edit this, so I feel like I need to give you some context. Two episodes ago, in episode 15, I was really worried about money. You know how you either have money, but no time to travel and relax, or time, but no money? That's where I was at. I was taking this big leap of faith to try and just rest and recharge myself on very little money. So I hope that explains why what I'm about to tell you would seem very stressful at that time. And I was suffering from unresolved complex trauma that I didn't fully understand at that time, that the smallest things can be so overwhelming and too much to deal with. I've learned better coping skills in the past two years. So I call it my auto insurance, which is USAA, and I absolutely adore USA. That's the best freaking insurance in the whole country. And I tell them that I'm living in my vehicle now and would like to get like some valuable property insurance or some kind of insurance to cover the other items in my vehicle, like my solar generator or my laptop or my cell phone or other expensive items, my refrigerator. After over an hour of rigmarole and being tossed all over the place, instead of insuring me for auto insurance, they're not going to be giving me a call and telling me that they're not going to renew their auto insurance policy with me 
because I live in my vehicle. I feel like, wow, I called you up planning to take on another insurance policy and spend some more money. And instead, I'm not even going to be renewed and have to go with like progressive or Geico or I don't even know, like something horrible. Like it's the best auto insurance. And now I've been with this company forever, 15 years. So if you ever call your auto insurance company up, do not tell them that you live in your vehicle. What are homeless people supposed to do? No, I'm not fine because I'm going to have to pay higher auto insurance fees. <sighs> I cannot believe it. Hopefully it just helps you because I'm pretty upset. I don't know what I'm going to have to pay for other insurance. Or if you have any ideas on how you get insured with your stuff, I'd love to hear it. Please t let me know. I just love these misty ocean days. It's <sighs> feeling so much better now. I just got off of the phone with my friend in Toronto. Ah, there it is. I feel like this has been a walking meditation. I feel like I'm just walking and I'm getting solutions. Figuring out what to do. Feeling excited again to get back on track. It's great. Love the ocean energy. Look what I just found. I'm just sitting here by the sidewalk on the way back to the van. I'm totally gonna make a necklace out of this. Like, look at that perfectly round hole. It's natural. Well, here's my charger. Hooked up to the battery and it's not too shabby of a spot to be stranded for a little while. So the charger to charge up the van's battery is using 101 watts, and I'm getting 72 watts of sunshine. Blackberries are getting ready to pop early this year. It's been just one of those fucking days. I uh, put a can on the stove to heat it up without having to like wash the pot, right? And then I didn't take the lid off first. And so it exploded all over my van. What a fucking mess. Cleaning up in the van like this is no small feat when you don't have a laundry nearby and a shower to go to quickly. <sighs> oh my gosh. It just doesn't help that I just feel like so 
depressed and exhausted today and then having to just I've got to deal with this like I can't just like let that just sit up there my shirt's covered in it everything is covered in it this is covered in it and yet I feel like I'm just gonna just lie in my own filth I'm just so done for a moment like this is just a new low you know I meditated this morning to calm myself down get on the phone call the insurance company to switch insurance companies hoping that you know I'll still get as good of a deal as I've been getting but now I pay four dollars more per month which isn't too too bad but that's only because I'm on now sharing insurance with my parents oh so I think at this moment I'm gonna drink some wine I'm just gonna rest and relax for a minute and then I'm gonna pull my together and go to the laundromat and take a shower in the end this is the reality it will be fine so I'll just be a memory it's just one of these days it's just windy and cold out there I don't want to get out and go to the laundromat I just don't want to do anything I just wanted to relax for a minute. <sighs> One step at a time. I'm just sweating from the humidity, but I can't have my window open because it's too cold to have the wind coming in. It's like I can't ever seem to get comfortable. I hate that feeling. I hate it. I'm at my happy place. I'm at the ocean. I haven't seen the ocean in a year and a half, and yet I'm sitting here just miserable most of the time just sort of like pushing on ahead like just trudging through like molasses to just get something accomplished that feels good to me that feels fun to me to do something fun so here i am please don't give me advice please don't try to fix it please i humbly ask you please don't try to fix my problems i'm just sharing I'm just sharing so that you don't feel alone in your difficulties. That's the only reason why I share. Not to be dramatic. I just want you to see that life is just life. This is just the game of life. It has ups and it has downs. That's all. <laughs> yes, I am comfortably numb now. <laughs> Here I am. And all my rawness and realness. And, you know, I started the morning out with meditating for 45 minutes this morning. And I felt pretty calm and very centered. And then I managed the phone call that I've been avoiding for days. And it couldn't be avoided any longer. And it still made me sad. It made me sad to think that people wouldn't insure me because I live in my vehicle. It's just, I don't even know why that made me so upset and sad. Rejection of me, I don't even know. You know, when life comes, like when it hits you like this, because it did feel like an explosion, like a bomb went off in my van. You just gotta roll with it. But in all the biggest, higher perspective of it all, it's not that big of a deal. It's not something that when I look back on this that it's still going to affect me from, you know, months from now. Where the the consequence of today's events it's all going to be over by tomorrow it's not something that has massive like ripple effect of like the rest of my life is now influenced by this no, I didn't have any significant loss or massive trauma it's not that big of a deal at the moment it feels kind of like that it's not anything that can't be resolved so this is where you have to get your mind to not create a bigger problem than it already is. Does that make sense? <laughs> right? And you gotta laugh about it, right? Because it's, it's so ridiculous. It's so over the top. Like, what the f***? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this disaster. It's so disaster it will be fine you'll be okay i will be okay
Well, I guess the net van needed a thorough cleaning. Ugh, it's even got the liner below it. It's gonna take everything up. right next to this shipping container and the van is parked at an angle to keep the wind from hitting me just right but it's an empty beach parking lot it's pretty sweet 